Christmas Eve. It's all cloudy out here. It's like, it's kind of foggy. What do you have? What do you have? Don't mind our dirty bags. Oh, he's got a Christmas box. Oh my goodness. Merry Christmas Eve, everybody. Oh, that's very loud. Look at how foggy it is. It never gets foggy here. Wow, it's a Christmas miracle. That is actually really cool. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve. I have a Christmas Eve cast on box from um, Hypnotic Yarn, and I think I'm ready to go open that now. I'm excited. <laughs> and I think I'm also gonna give Pete his pajamas and book. The pajamas are for tonight because we're cooking today, so I don't wanna, well, maybe we'll just wear them all day. But I think we're gonna go walk the dogs. Can you see my breath? <laughs> it's not that cold. I think it's like 47. I'm wearing a t-shirt. But it's nice and foggy. Wow, I haven't seen fog in a long time. My garden is loving all the rain we've been getting. It's like, I think it rained again last night. Everything's wet out here. Yeah, it totally did. Awesome. I hope we're going to have a very rainy winter because it's winter now. Look how happy my garden is. It's my worms there in that bucket with the cardboard lid. I've got garlic, snap peas, basil, and some peppers that just showed up all on their own. Over here I have radishes, carrots, tomatoes, a Swiss chard, and more garlic. All right, I'm going inside now to open up my Christmas cast on box because I don't want to wait until later. I just woke up. It's 9 a.m. Oh, I just got out of bed. I've been awake for a little while. Okay. Here's the box. This is from Hypnotic Yarn. It says Christmas Eve cast on 2023. Hello, Mama. You have to wait for Santa Claus to bring your presents. He's coming tonight. I did hear from Santa that there's five little monsters in this house that are on the nice list. And they were all gonna get stockings. Whoa. Sherman, you almost got stabbed. Oh boy. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Oh, and the back says Merry Stitchmas. <clears throat> As the magic of Christmas surrounds us, we hope this exclusive Christmas Eve cast on box fills your heart with joy, your hands with warmth, and adds a magical touch to your stitching adventures now and in the new year. With each loop and twist, may you find tranquility, the joy of creation, and a thread that weaves you closer to the ones you love. Thank you for inviting us into your home and your traditions. We wish you a Christmas filled with love, laughter, and of course, the happiest of stitching. Merry Christmas and happy crafting. Cheryl and the Hypnotic Yarn Team. How cute. Merry Stitchmas. I love that. Oh my goodness, there's so many goodies in here. Let's start with the yarn. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, this is for mom. Can you see Polo here? No. Here, if I move back, you can't see him. Um, here is the yarn. It's called Christmas Eve Cast On Warm Country Christmas. I love that. That is my vibe. Their, this is their plush sock base. It is so soft. It's an 8515 Superwash Merino Nylon. 100 grams. What is this? For hot chocolate? It just says Christmas Eve cast on. Oh, I think it 
is for hot chocolate. Here's a chocolate one. Ooh, an enamel pin. I love enamel pins. I collect them on my yarn bag. I'm, and I'm too far away and I don't have my glasses on to see if this is actually focusing. Oh, these are beautiful stitch markers. Those are really pretty. Oh, and I just bought one of these recently because I really wanted one. Um, but this one is Christmassy. This is a row counter. I've never actually used one, but this is what I was hoping would be in here. <laughs> Needle toppers. Whoops. Yay! They had some really cute ones in the Halloween yarnable box. And I was really sad when I got the Christmas box and there wasn't anything like real Christmassy. It was just wintry. But I guess this is why, because they had an actual Christmas box, right? And then people who are yarnable subscribers but don't celebrate Christmas, that box was still fitting for them because it was like winter wishes. But these are so cute, so fun. Sorry about the toe tapping, the dog's all have to be in here to see what I'm getting all excited about. Ooh, and the mug. I wondered if there was a mug because the box was heavy. How cute. This is very, very exciting. So, I got some nine inch circular needles from my friend Elaine yesterday. And I think I'm going to cast on some socks tonight and try the nine inch circulars because I've never knit with them before. This is really pretty. I'll take this off so you can see it. Oh, I guess I'll just rip it off. Isn't that beautiful? I love this. I love this dark green. It's very like vintagey Christmas. Country Christmas it's called. Warm country Christmas. Right? Is that it? Yep. Yeah. Warm country Christmas. <laughs> I'm not going to give Pete his pajamas in his book right now because he's dealing with work stuff. It's going to be crappy. What are you doing, Fifi? Are you causing trouble under the Christmas tree? Last night I found out that she's been taking ornaments off and hiding them under the tree. She has a little pile back there. That hoarding. <laughs> oh my god. She's gonna knock the whole tree down. There probably isn't even any water in it to help keep it steady. Sherman. She's helping you decorate. She's, she's being a good little Christmas water. angel. She doesn't like where you put that one. She She's awful to decorate trees. Not much better, but you know what? I don't care. What are you up to, Fifi? Oh, nothing. Just cleaning my paws. Oh my god. See? That is not good. She's going to rip it off the wall. Oh god. She's just excited. She's just using the Christmas spirit. Yeah. Furiosa, it's not too late for Santa to take your presents back. She's gonna go I'm scared. She's under there somewhere. For some reason, um, when I uploaded my video to YouTube last night, it didn't upload this morning. Usually that's what I do is right before bed, I start the upload. And then when I wake up in the morning, it's done. Um, but for some reason last night, it didn't work. So I just did it on my computer. My computer is plugged into the router, so it uploads pretty quickly, um, like 10 to 15 minutes. And so that's going. So now my phone is free to use for other things. And I'm just waiting on Pete to make his coffee so that we can go walk the pups. Nice foggy Christmas Eve, huh, girls?
Cheers. Christmas, y'all. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas Eve. Like, Let's say it again. Are you serious? What are we having? A little bit of the bubbly. A little bit of the bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> Champagne with a splash of pineapple juice. It's so snuggly. <laughs> one of my socks. I realized that I made a mistake and I was supposed to do 13 rounds on the leg and before starting the heel and I knew that. I did the math. I knew that and I think just when I was traveling in Colorado I just forgot and went ahead and started the heels. So I in order to finish all 24 stripes I had to do this last stripe into the toe. So we just did a little bit of white after finishing that last 24th stripe, but that's okay. No big deal. So this one's done. This one, I'm working on the toe. Almost done. Just got a little bit left of this color. Let's see where it turns to gray. Um, and then I'll start the white. So yeah, almost done. So close. And I'm giving my leftovers to my friend. So yeah, there's definitely enough left to make another pair of socks. Um, now we had breakfast, had some champagne, just been chilling on the couch knitting. My uncle was here for a bit, he just left. Now I'm going to go get the prime rib going because we're gonna get that cooked and done. And then once it gets dark, we're gonna go for a bike ride to go look at Christmas lights. So I wanna make sure that dinner is ready before that and then we'll eat afterwards because there's no way in hell I'm gonna go for a bike ride after eating a big dinner. <laughs> almost dark. I think the sun just set and we are heading out for our bike ride to go look at Christmas lights. I don't know how much I'll be able to film because I can't really hold my phone and ride my bike at the same time but I can stop and get some videos of the real good ones. That's why we're biking so that we can actually see more than you would see from the car. Because yes. the car, one of us has to drive, we're moving too fast, yeah. so. And if you want to stop in Arizona, in Bear there's going to be some psychotic driver behind you who's like honking, you know. It's so for less, the bikes, that doesn't sound very safe, but we're going to be riding on the sidewalk and we have lights. Yes. Are you ready, Pete? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I get nervous to ride my bike, especially by the road. Look at that sunset, though. I didn't even notice it. Nice.
was so much fun. We're home now. The dogs are all stressed because people are lighting fireworks. Even though we gave them anxiety meds before we left, they're still freaking out. But we're home and yeah, that was like the best because we could go slow, stop and take videos. You know, it was cold. So, so, so much fun. That was perfect. Um, now, I am ready. I am making a holiday whiskey sour cocktail. I'm doing whiskey, orange liqueur, cranberry juice, and simple syrup. So I'm super excited to try it. And dinner is made. Pete's just gonna do the veggies real quick. It's gonna be super, what, it's gonna take a long time? Well, I'm not eating vegetables then. I'll have roast beef and mashed potatoes. No problem. Not roast beef, prime rib. Polu, is that your old little moosey? That reminds me, Zoe needs to get her birthday toy. I've got all the Christmas toys hidden in here, but Zoe got an extra one for her birthday. It's fine. I can't remember if I said this already, but today is Zoe B's 10th birthday. Happy birthday, Zoe! Happy birthday! You're 10 years old today, my little Christmas angel. Oh, we need to brush you. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Happy birthday, baby B. Happy birthday, baby Zoe B. I love you, Zoe. I can't believe my, you're 10 years old. Zoe was my first, Zoe and her siblings were my first litter of bottle-fed puppies when I was working in rescue. 10 years ago. You, what? You prefer that nasty, stinky old toy? Zoe, I got you a new one. You got a new one. Do it some nibs. Good girl. I thought I was recording this whole time, making this drink, but it wasn't. Whoops. Cheers. I mean, as I've never made it this way, but not as sour as I usually like it. Bad. Not bad. Here is the fine finished prime rib. I tasted it, and it is pretty dang good. Is it prime? It's prime. This is the first one I've ever made, and my meat thermometer stopped working. So. Well, maybe a little over. Might be perfect though, actually. It's pink. I mean, I've seen prime rib like super, yeah, super good. rare, but that looks good. good. Yay. Cheers, dears. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Mm. It's good. It's good. Just like, just like Kenny Rogers. 